Hi, everybody. Bobby Folder here, and my sister, Liz Folder Branch, and I will be bringing you a live presentation soon on the 25th of this month. Uh, we'll be covering quite a bit of information. So, um, and history, um, family history, U.S. history, etc. Uh, about African American life, etc. So, we'll be covering things like, and I made a little list pad here, um, DNA, where we came from before we were here in the United States and where our family grew out of. My sister and I live in Portland, Oregon right now because our mom was born in Portland, Oregon. However, our family came from several different places. Um, Tulsa, Oklahoma is outside of Tulsa, like a suburb is one of the places. But our family left there um, in the early 1900s to go to Canada because of Jim Crow, um, race riots. They were already burning towns down. And that information isn't as... Uh, posted as much as the Tulsa inf information is. So, but we have more history about that. And um, we'll be covering a lot of things like, I have a whole list of questions here. However, I suggest you come up with some of your own questions to ask us during the live period because um, we plan to have a really good time together just to cover information that uh, dispel some assumptions, etc., etc. Also, here's my assignment for you. If you have Netflix and you go on Netflix and you watch High Off the Hog on Netflix, that will raise some questions that you just won't believe you didn't know the information about. For instance, where did the word cowboy come from? Okay? Also... We are culture bearers. My sister and I, I've coined, coined the phrase because we're going to do a project called the culture bearer. All families have culture bearers. You are a culture bearer. Whatever your family has handed down to you for you to keep and share and pass down from generation to generation is called culture bearing. So we're going to cover some of that information so that you can do investigations into your own families or foster families or adopted families. And that's the going to be the cover of our book. Hello. My artwork. Okay, yes, I'm a visual and performing artist. So, and my sister found, of course she did. She's the researcher. I'm the visual artist. <laughs> She found an early celebration here in Oregon, okay, in Portland, an emancipation celebration. And that's because it wasn't always called Juneteenth because different people in different areas were free to different times. So they had different names for it. It all means the same thing, okay? So the, uh, that emancipation celebration took place in 1911, okay? Also... We'll be covering some of my artwork, etc. I like I said, I'm a visual and performing artist. My body of work will have videos and artwork. I have an online gallery. I'll tell you where that is, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're really looking forward to meeting with you all and answering some of your questions and maybe asking some of our own. And my sister will be joining me, and just remember, I'm the good.